So with solo leveling, we have monarchs, and one of the monarchs that we have right now is Baron. Now, of course, the way that he kind of came about was it was all a big update hype 2.0. The Baron Stormy came out, Stormy story came out, and then that eventually led into him being available in the Workshop of Rain Light. Through that, we get Cores being a new piece of item to help us through the um, power side of things, right? Makes more stronger. Now, with Monarchs, I was hoping to get something more out of it. Ultimately, I knew that eventually it's going to be bosses for us to look forward to, key moments within the game that they'll hype up, just like what they did with Baron, and then make it so that these are going to be the new sets of bosses that we fight against to obtain new piece of um, resources, artifacts, whatever, right, to help us out to progress through our power level. And a, a perfect example is how they introduced Baron. Obviously, one of the monarchs. Technically, the second monarch, because we ourselves are the, are the vessel of the Shadow Monarch. But anyway, I digress. It seems that something very, very interesting is happening on what could be more to do with monarchs in the game. Because in my eyes, it's a bit of a waste, if you, if you, if you, if you want to call it that. To have it that they come in, they're bosses that we fight against, and we leave it as that. I feel like there's more that they could do and it seems that could be the case so if you haven't seen it already i'll leave the link down below but nato had some exclusive info um i believe i don't, I don't know if alpha got the info or some data miner but apparently we could very well see a new monarch skill system tree of some sort being added into the game and that has my interest obviously with that alone will uh, garner a lot of uh power increase for us too because you know, as it stands right now, um, working on your shadows um, does give you a, a decent amount of uh, power increase. Hence, why I decided to, you know, max out Big Rock. Um, I also decided to uh, max out Blade, and obviously, when um, Kaizel drops, probably will max out Kaizel because uh, I want that damage alt buff. Thank you very much. And then, of course, when Beru drops, that's going to be the next shadow we're going to be catering to. Kind of leaving Tank and uh, Iron in, in in the back, I'm sorry, but got to cater to the ones that um, I'm going to be using the most, of course. So, again, just a prime example of how like the shadows themselves can really help us out in the uh, power increase department. And so, to have Monarchs now, that's... That has got my attention. So if you are not too uh, aware of the solar leveling or the IP itself, you know, all together there are nine monarchs. I've got them up right now so you guys can see on each of the monarchs. This is the final protagonist, I'm pretty sure insane. But uh, yeah, uh, the monarch of destruction, um, monarch of shadows, which technically is us because we're the vessel. So I don't think the monarch of shadow will count in terms of them adding it into the storyline or it being even into the uh, skill tree system that we've got planned. Baron, um, the Monarch of White Flames, which obviously we've just fought and he's in the game right now. Um, the Monarch of Fangs, uh, King of Beasts, of course. Uh, Monarch of Frost, of the, oh, sorry, Monarch of Frost, <laughs> the King of Snow Folk. Uh, the Monarch of Iron Body, the King of uh, Monstrous uh, Humanoids. The Monarch of uh, Beginnings, King of Giants. Um, the Insect Queens, the Monarch of Plagues, which, yeah. That's going to be interesting. And then lastly, um, yeah, the Monarch of Transfiguration, the King of Spectra. So that is uh, all of the Monarchs that we have to look forward to. So like I said, with solo leveling, uh, with what's to come, by the way, this is, I don't know why it shows these images. This is, yeah. Um, so yeah, with solo leveling, there, there, there's big things to come still, like big, big things. So there's a lot that they could cater to. So it would honestly be a bit of a missed opportunity if they didn't make these monarchs more involved into our gameplay um, and I'm glad and I'm happy that they are I will say so from what Nato has informed us um, so apparently it's gonna be called remnant power skill tree system um, and the way it works is that you know we have to defeat the monarchs now they could very well implement it in a way because I'm sure in saying every single monarch that I've just showed you guys all uh, eight of them not nine of them because one of them is technically us um, will probably get added into the shadow, uh, the workshop bring light. So they could very well make it so that um, this could be the stipulations. Because in order to unlock the um, remnant power skill tree of the monarchs, it will require uh, stipulations to where we have to beat them. So, for example, if they choose to add it, 
sometime soon you know just just to give you guys an example they'll probably make it so that in order to get the baron skill tree um unlocked you would have to defeat him in hard difficulty right something like that or maybe normal or hard right something something along the lines on that part or maybe make it so that you have to beat him on hard difficulty on the on the story mode right so there'll be some formal stipulations i guess to unlock the uh skill tree of chords um but by defeating the mono i mean they could also very well do a different game mode um yeah, I mean, that, that, yeah, there could be some new game modes where the monarchs are just kind of chilling there. <laughs> that, that could be it. But uh, pretty much, you beat the monarchs, you get the shards, you use the shards to level up the skill tree to unlock buffs, active skills, and whatnot, increase your stats. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of you know just a bit of an example on how that's going to furthermore cater to our power level increase, which is fantastic. Um, apparently, there's going to be three main buffs: remnant power, power skill bonus, and boost stats, of course. Um, by working on the skill tree itself, eventually it'll get to the point where we'll unlock special uh, effects or special bonuses, I guess you could say. And from that, that will then bring the involvement of Monarchs. So once we work on a skill tree at a certain part of the skill tree, once you achieve it, maybe at the halfway mark, somewhere around there, it'll unlock some special buffs to where we can get Baron or we can get any of these Monarchs coming in to help us out uh, on the field doing their damage um and yeah that, that 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 will then kind of act like and work like how the shadows are working basically so the concept is going to be very 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 similar to how the shadows work of course but in this case it's going to be the monarchs and uh, i'm sure i'm saying that they are going to be powerful <laughs> with, with, with their presence being on the field so but this is going to be huge in terms of you know what buffs we can increase what active skill um we can increase um, what special effects we can add on and plus we can increase of course so it seems that i, I want to say for next year um this new skill tree system this monarch skill tree system is going to come in and it's going to change the game in my eyes in terms of the power level increase the difficulty and um and the strategic play style that we'll have with the involvement of now i guess monarchs backing us up which is going to be super weird to see but to be fair i'm all for because one thing which i've always well I, I was hoping for them to do is maybe make it so that we have access to monarchs to make it like i don't know summonable or make monarchs usable because i do want to use some of these like, I, like don't get me wrong i would love to use these monarchs like come on now who wouldn't um so to get that type of involvement to where it's kind of done in a similar fashion of shadows but there's more to it right it's way more in depth um, yeah, this is going to keep us busy and this exact th th this is content that I want to see It's going to keep us busy. It's going to keep us on our toes different strategic play and that leads into that the gameplay itself is going to be um, Way more difficult to come a hundred percent way more difficult to come. So yeah um, Fairly interesting news. We'll see on what the plan is because obviously from what now said this is kind of um, Early development I guess you could say but uh, this has piqued my interest and I'm glad that they're not just kind of sleeping on the Monarchs just to make them upcoming bosses to defeat. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that there's actually more to it.